Okay, so in this gas law problem, we're trying to find how many moles there are of this gas here. So when I see moles, I'm thinking that might be the ideal gas law because N, that's the number of moles. Let's see if we have initial and final conditions. It doesn't look like we have initial and final conditions, so it's not going to be the combined gas law. We're working with the ideal gas law here, and we're really just looking at these variables at a particular point in time here. So ideal gas law, let's do it. So we have PV equals nRT. We have pressure right here in millimeters of mercury. Then we have a volume, 321 milliliters. We are looking for moles. R, that's our constant in temperature, that's in Kelvin. What makes this problem a little annoying is we have a lot of different units that we're gonna to need to change around here to convert. For R, we're gonna use this based on the pressure, but I don't really remember the value for R for millimeters of mercury. So I'm just gonna convert this to atmospheres. So I know that there are 760 millimeters of mercury in one atmosphere. So these cancel out. We'll be left with atmospheres as our unit. So I end up with 0 0.98 atmospheres. What that means is the value of R I can use is right here. And we have atmospheres in the actual unit. Here's our atmospheres. That works out. You'll also notice, though, we have liters. So we have to convert this to liters. And then we have Kelvin. So we've got to change Celsius to Kelvin for this to work. Let's do that. So to get from milliliters to liters, we divide by 1,000. We're going to end up with 0 0.321 liters. And then we add Celsius plus 273.15. That'll give us Kelvin. So we get 298.15 Kelvin. If you need help with these unit conversions, there are links in the description. Now we just plug everything in. So if I divide both sides by this right here, That'll cancel it out here, and then we'll have N by itself. And it's a bit messy with all the units, but watch what happens. Atmospheres, atmospheres, liters, liters, Kelvin, Kelvin. We are left with moles, and that's what we're looking for. So we set this up correctly, multiply the top, then multiply the bottom, divide the numerator by the denominator, and we end up with 0 0.129 moles. So the key here, make sure all your units match up with your constant R. And then if you get something like millimeters mercury, if you can get that value for R, that's great. Otherwise, convert it to atmospheres and you'll get the same answer either way. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.